So everyone is going crazy at the moment for the brand new Wes Anderson film Asteroid City and specifically for how it looks. If you know Wes Anderson's films, he always has a very specific and unique look to all of his films. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can recreate it step by step. Hey, welcome to the video. Now, before we jump into the tutorial, when you are creating looks and color grades like this, it is important, especially when you're in the filming stage, to actually think about your location, the style, the props, all of these things are super, super important. Of course, when you look at the Wes Anderson film, it's filmed in a desert. We're based in Manchester in England, so we don't have a desert to hand. We're in quite a, a gray industrial city. So we've picked a shot that we think will work quite well with this. So we're gonna give this technique a go on this shot, but just remember to keep those things in mind when you're getting shots of your very own. Oh, and just in case you would like to know, Asteroid City was filmed using Kodak 35 millimeter film. Okay, so now let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you how to do this color grade. Step one, find a shot from Asteroid City so you have something to work with. I'm going to choose this frame as we have objects, people, the ground and the sky so we can match everything correctly. This will be a good comparison with my shot because we have similar bright colors and a subject in the frame as well. Now get them both in the viewer like this. To do this, click this icon here and adjust this slider to find the shot you would like to use. If you can't find this icon, click the little plus icon here and you can drag the icon like this. The first step we need to do is adjust the basic color correction, such as the exposure and the shadows. To do this, open up your Lumetri scopes and make sure you have these three scopes showing. If they aren't showing on yours, right click and turn these three on. Got vector scopes, the parade, and the waveform in Luma. Now you will see you have both scopes lined up for each shot here next to each other. This is Asteroid City and this one is your shot. Drag this panel down here to get a better view. Now, as you can see in the Asteroid City shot, the exposure and highlights don't go above 80 and the shadows and blacks fall just around 10. Now what you wanna do is try and match your shot as much as you can to this. Right, good, now let's jump on to the next step. Now we need to go in and fix the white balance. So go into the effects controls and under the opacity, select this mask tool here and select a white section of both clips. Make sure to close the comparison view because it won't let you draw a mask. Now, once you've done this on both shots, open your comparison view again and you'll have two lines now on the vector scopes. This line is the Wes Anderson film and this one is your shot. Now go into the basic correction again and adjust the temperature, the tint, and the saturation until it matches just like this. And then just delete the mask on both clips. And that's your white balance done. Now we need to go in and match our skin tones. So go to the Lumetri color panel and then click this drop down box here and create a new Lumetri color and name this Skin Tones. Now go into your HSL secondary panel and use the dropper and select a part of the skin. Now play around with these options here to get it as accurate as you can. Turn this on for a better look. And if you need to add more points, just click this icon here and select another part of your skin and this will select more of the color for you. Make sure to get them as accurately as you can as this will affect the final look. So I think this is looking pretty good. Now we're gonna add some blur and a denoise to smooth it out a bit. All right, now go back into the Wes Anderson clip and select the opacity option again and draw a mask around a bit of the skin. In the scopes, you will see these two lines. One is your clip and then one is the Wes Anderson clip. Now select your clip and go back into the HSL and adjust the settings in your color wheel as accurately as you can so that the lines on the vector scopes match. Play around with the saturation and tint below to match it as close as you can. Okay, good, now that's done. I'm just gonna jump in here quickly to talk about our sponsor, 
Artlist Max. Now, if you wanna work on projects like this and you can't get out to get the footage, or maybe you have a project you're already working on and you need some extra shots, check out Artlist Max because they have a ton of footage, sound effects and music, which are perfect for any video that you're working on. As you may know if you watch the channel, we use this for almost all of our videos. There's always a shot we need or maybe something that we wanna show off. So we use Artlist Max. Check out a link in the description to get your subscription now. Now we need to focus on the sky section. Add another Lumetri color like we did before and name this one sky. Now just repeat the same process as you did with the skin tones. Now we need to go into HSL again, select the sky, go into the asteroid city shot, now draw a mask around a bit of the sky. Then adjust this color wheel until your lines fit the asteroid city line. We can see now the sky is more towards teal so find a good point on the wheel. I think this is looking pretty good. And now we're gonna create one for the ground as the ground has this kind of brown rusty color. And I think the hay and the grass would look good if these matched. So again, I'm going to do the exact same steps. And there we go, I think this is looking pretty good. I'm now gonna go back into the first Lumetri color panel that we made. Uh, we also did the white balance on this one as well. I'm just gonna refine it a little bit here. And then because this was shot on film, I'm going to add in our own Editor's Keys grain over the top. And if you wanna download this grain, check out a link in the description below where you can download this pack and some LUTs as well. Change the blend mode to overlay and decrease the opacity a little bit. And I think this is starting to look really good. To enhance the look even more, I'll add some black bars to the shot so it gives it that kind of widescreen look that you have on the Wes Anderson film. So to do this, add an adjustment layer like this, drag it over the top of your shot, and then go into effects. You then wanna type in crop and drag this onto your clip and change the top and bottom to 10. And then just copy and paste these attributes to your other clips. If you find that some clips look a little off, uh, you might wanna do some slight adjusting. Again, it depends on your own settings and what's in the scene and what the lighting looks like. Okay, so this is looking really good. So you can do this to any film that you're working on. So try it out and let us know in the comment section below how you get on. And if you wanna see more videos just like this, let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and check out our other Premiere Pro videos up here. I'll see you in the next one.